Hello, welcome pen friends. It's that time again. It's uh, Ink Journal Ink Flight Box time. And this is my um, second year of getting this uh, subscription box. So I've already gotten 12. This is my 13th box. And this is the Ink Flight 27 April uh, 2019. And I'm going to do an unboxing. And then in the next video, we'll, we'll swatch up these inks. You always get seven inks. Uh, in sample form and a couple of or one or two pen goodies so let's dive right in and I will link you everything so you can find out how to get um, you know a subscription or, or purchase a box if you're interested I think you can get just the the ink uh, samples or you can get what I get which is the the ink goodies and the samples so let's dive right in oh boy okay welcome ink travelers April Fools <laughs> I've heard all kinds of stuff about this, about a big mystery, big mystery, so I can't wait. I, I have other projects, but I couldn't wait to do this. I couldn't resist taking the opportunity to have a little fun with you by making this our first ever secret ink flight. Ooh! Use your keen ink detection skills to guess the brand and color names of each ink. Submit your responses on our Google form by entering this address into a web browser. Oh boy! So we don't know which country these inks come from or what the names are. Ink 1, to thine own self be blue. Okay, we know we're going to have blue. Ink 2, you'll be smitten with this gold sheening purple ink. Ooh, gold sheening purple ink. We may have a few of those in the house. Get, ink 3, get sweet on this delicious vibrant red. Ink 4, rock this brown if you like a smoky shading ink. Ink 5, high sheen alert. Ink responsibly... <laughs> or, or the bobbies will come after you. Ink 6, this saturated <laughs> blue is a limited edition to commemorate one country's inaugural pen show. Ooh. Ink number 7, see we're getting some clues. You might feel a little mystified when writing with this deep green with a heavy sheen. Ooh, yeah. Okay, well let's, here they are. And we don't know what they are, but we're going to, we know on this channel how to examine inks, so, and compare inks, so that's cool. Oh, this is neat. Refillable marker, water and inks by J, whoops, huh, coming out, by J. Arbonne. Okay, let's see what it says about this. J. Arbonne refillable marker. Expand your creativity and get inky with this refillable art marker from the makers of J. Arbonne fountain pen inks. Use the included pipette. Okay, there's a pipette. For um, for easy filling. Dilute the ink using distilled water if you prefer a lighter shade. That's a big tank there. Okay. Um, the tips range from 3 mil millimeter to 10 millimeter chisel tip. Due to inventory availability, we included an assortment of tip sizes at random for our subscribers. Okay, let's see what I got. <clears throat> Just out of curiosity. Okay. Okay, it's attached. Let's see. <laughs> I talk about ripping into it the first day. Okay. All right, so it's pretty wide. Like a, that looks a lot like a Posca art uh, pen. Let's see if you can get focus too. That's kind of neat. Huh. All right, something new, and it's that's why I do this, because I like to be introduced to new things, so there we go. Okay. Oh, there's something else. All right, let's get down in there. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh, look at that. Get that box out of the way. Oh, Claire Fontaine. There's the little, this is a little notebook. This kind of reminds me of, sort of like a reporter's notebook, but it's a little smaller. It's got a, a elastic. Now that's a, a nice feature because I've had those kind of notebooks open before. Ooh, nice. And it has perforated pages. That's nice. Oh, we all know about Claire Fontaine. That's some good paper. So let's see what it says. Perfect for daily tasks. Daily task lists, shopping lists, or keeping track of all your pen and ink combinations. This spiral bound notebook pad has got all the features of a premium Claire Fontaine product. The list maker contains 60 sheets of 90G ultra white fountain pen and marker friendly lined paper that's super smooth. Nice. 
That feels definitely like clear Fontaine paper. Nice. Okay, 60 sheets, 90 G. Throw this pad in your bag or pocket with ease. The double wire spiral binding doesn't snag and the elastic closure keeps the notepad from flapping open. Yeah, I do like that because I I used to, well, I used to be a reporter and I used, in the Air Force, a uh, journalist, and you go interview people and I'd have these little narrow kind of uh, reporter notebooks. I just had one around here yesterday. Oh, currently reading. Well, that's neat. Atomic. Okay, I may not be saying that right. Because I'm having a brain freeze around the word, so let's get it up there so you can see it. Habits by James Clear. Desperately searching for a way to enjoy your pens and inks by writing more? You'll find a blueprint to establishing productive habits in this book. Well, that sounds like a good book. All right, so we've got... We've got Mystery Inks, which, hey, we can deal with that here, I think. We may not be able to guess them, but we can have fun trying because we we compare inks all the time. And then we've got the Notebook by Claire Fontaine. I love that. And the J. Arbonne um, Refillable Marker. That will be fun. Huh. I can't imagine putting that much ink down, but I can with some of the J. Arbonne... Um, oh, let's see. I've got one right here. Some of these... Encre by them, they tend to be, and the one right next to it is probably a good, they tend to be a little light, kind of, and so maybe putting down that much ink might be good with one like this, the Encre Rose, Tender Rose, for instance, and I've got a few others that are, I, I could think of another one too, the Tropics, Coral of the Tropics or something, maybe you'd want to, you could see it better if it's a really light one, so this will be fun, oh, it's got beads. You know, I'm, I'm like a kid. Okay, so this is neat. What a neat ink flight and what fun. I mean, it's right up my alley. Um, I will be really excited too when they reveal what they actually are, but we can have guessing games. We can have panels of comparison and everything. So that ought to be fun. So that's it for this video. Um, I am working on, I have uh, Noodler's Roam Burning in my pens. So it will have to be the first... Uh, uh, you know, the first of the next, <laughs> I'm losing my words here, all this excitement. It'll be the next ink profile anyway, uh, before, but I'm going to come back and do a video. Uh, I've got the panel all set here for Ink Flight 27, so we'll be putting these down, and we can begin our speculation, our fun of trying to figure out what these are, and I, I, I clearly, it's, I love a challenge, and also, um, it's a, real mystery because okay would it be something we're familiar with actually let's get in there and let's let's see from the outside and then you know next video we'll we'll actually see on a panel but sometimes we can actually begin to whoa <laughs> to see just by looking and some inks okay I could tell right away for instance that that is a blue oh look at that Okay, so yeah, let's do a cap search and then we'll then we'll end this video. Okay, this uh, ink flight twenty seven number five. Okay. Ooh, there we go. Let's see. Let's get focus. Nice red, huh? Mystery. This is clever. This is very very clever. Ink number two. Oh, that's pretty, huh? See, what I'm wondering is, are these ones that we've never seen before? In the ink flight, probably, but still, you know, we we uh, hum around in the pen world, and this is number four, and so maybe there's some that we should know. Ooh, now that's interesting. Can you see that? <laughs> oh, I love this. Okay, th three more to look at. Uh, this is number six. I don't want to do any spilling. Ooh, that's a pretty blue. Hmm, a lot of mysteries, and we did hear something about an exclusive pen show was that number six yeah number six okay so this saturated blue is a limited edition to commemorate one country's inaugural pen show okay somebody probably already knows what that is I don't but uh, number three get sweet on this delicious vibrant red oh that's pretty wow that's red you can see that from the outside <laughs> huh wow 
This reminds me of when my pen friend had a purple that his uh, label fell off and we tried to guess. On that one, we never did, I don't think, solve the mystery. Number seven. Okay, this is a deep green. All right, let's see if you can see that. There we go. Okay, well, there's a little glimmer. And I'll come back and panel these and then we can begin doing what we do. Uh, understand, and of course, that I'll do Noodler's Rome Burning profile first because you guys voted on that. And I'm committed to doing that for you. And for me, because so far, so good. That is an interesting ink. Okay, so pardon my crazy excitement, but here we are. This is, this is a cool ink flight. And if you want one, you better hurry because <laughs> I think they do sell out pretty quick. But I'll link you to all of that. And uh, thank you very much for being here. Um, oh, I want to show you one thing. This kind of sidetracked me and kind of slowed me down. I'm learning how to make these little... Um, a different style of pouches. This was my first one. It's not, this is not my pattern. This is, um, I think it's uh, Coastal Creations, but I, I will definitely link that because it's not my pattern. And I did learn how to do a little magic circle thing, and then this one with the correct size that she had recommended. So I'm getting there, but both of them have mistakes, and Anyway, I love crystals, you guys know, and so, uh, and I make these square pouches, but I really wanted a little crystal pouch. So, it's a work in progress, it's kind of distracting me from my ink desk, but that's okay, because who doesn't like having multiple projects going on? I know I do. So, I'll see you back here with the paneling, and then shortly after that, we'll do Noodler's Rome Burning. So, have a great day. Bye for now.